Hi, how you doing? My name is Locke. I'm from 2MCCTV.com. Today I'm talking about the common problems um, the common problems when it comes to remote viewing. Two issues that comes up the most is it's going to be they can't connect to server and the other issue is going to be you can not connect but nothing shows up. So let's start with the can't connect to server. First we have to check if the uh, you know if the mobile function is activated. Most people do the port forwarding and then um, you know they type in their IP address on the phone and nothing pops up. So let's go ahead and do that. To check if it's activate is click on the network icon and click on the webcam server. Go to the mobile tab and make sure this is checked. If it's checked, just click OK. And also you want to check if the mobile the web server is running too. Because sometimes if your system restarts, if you don't have the web server as when your startups it won't start up, so you have to enable that. And uh, once you know it's activate, just go ahead and try and see if it works. Another thing that could get in the way that uh, won't let you connect is if you change your port number. So if you mainly if you change your HTTP port number. So if you change your HTTP port, like it's by default is 80. I changed mine to 8080. So on the app, when it asks you for your IP address. You type in your IP address and you type in colon whatever you change it to. So, for example, if I'm on my app, if I'm on my iPhone or something like that, and the GeoVision app asks me for the IP address, I would type in my IP address, and then I will have to type in colon 8080 if I change my HTTP port. If I left that 80, there's no need to do that. And then, of course, your port, uh, and then it tells you to type in your, you know, mobile port and everything like that, which is by default 8866. Now, let's go on to the issue of, let's say, if you can connect, but it's just showing a, uh, a black screen, so nothing is showing up. That is coming from the JPG function, if you don't have that um, activated. So, again, we're just going to go back into our webcam server. We're gonna click on where it says JPG, and we're gonna make sure where it says make sure this is checked where it says create JPEG slash GIF file. And then we're just gonna click OK. Once you do that, again make sure your webcam server is running. Once you do that and you enable that, you should be able to pull some picture and uh, view your cameras live from your mobile phone. And those are two the two main issues that people run into when they're setting up mobile viewing. I want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and visit our website at www.2mcctv.com.